No matter your business VoIP provider, there are some very common issues that present themselves repeatedly with VoIP phones, which though simple to solve for those in the know can leave the uninitiated a little confused. Our aim in this video is to make this part of your life easier because with a VoIP phone system, working from home in 2020 should be easy. We've broken this one down by issue and have provided timestamps for easy navigation. So identify the symptoms you're having and we'll get your issues solved. SIP ALG. Symptoms. You can hear the other end of the line, but they can't hear you. Your phone refuses to register. The phone continues to ring after the call is picked up. If you recognize any of the above symptoms, SIP ALG is the most likely culprit. SIP ALG is just a setting in your router that's intended to inspect SIP messages and exchange their private IP addresses for public ones. Unfortunately, it frequently does more harm than good and can safely be turned off to fix the problem. This issue is common with consumer grade routers such as those provided by Virgin Media, BT and other ISPs. So if you're using the router supplied by your internet service provider, this should be your first port of call. Although quite a common issue, the method of resolution is different for every model of router. And unfortunately, not all basic routers give you easy access to the SIP ALG function. If you're familiar with accessing and using your router's GUI from your browser, you'll probably be able to find the setting yourself to switch it off. A quick Google for SIP ALG appended by the model of your router should give you the necessary directions. Tip. You'll be able to find the details of the make and model of your router on the back or the underside of the unit itself. With some consumer grade routers, the SIP ALG setting will not be immediately accessible through a GUI. In which case, your only option is to try accessing the setting via SSH, which means getting cozy with your computer's terminal or command line. If this isn't something you feel comfortable with, you'll have to turn to someone who is, or your ISP might be able to do this for you. If you really can't access the setting at all, then your only option is actually the best. And that's to purchase a proper business grade router like a Draytech, which will always give you control over SIP ALG, as well as more control over your network in general. Cable crossing. Your VoIP phone appears to be entirely functional, but no audio comes through the handset. You have issues establishing a network connection. A very common issue occurs when cables are connected to the incorrect ports on the back of the VoIP phone. The handset must be wired into the handset port, whilst the ethernet cable should be plugged into the LAN or internet port and not the PC port. It sounds simple, but this is crucial. For reference, the PC port is used to connect a computer to the phone, but the phone itself is connected to the internet via the LAN port and this cable should be connected to your router at the other end. We do strongly advise against wiring your computer into your network through your phone's PC port. You're probably using Wi-Fi anyway, but daisy chaining your connection through a VoIP phone will often negatively impact the performance of your PC or otherwise inconvenience you. Changes to VoIP phone configuration often require a reboot of the phone, which means downtime for your PC's connection and often VoIP phones don't have the greatest throughput speeds, meaning the phone will act as a bottleneck for your computer's connection. It's best practice then to plug your VoIP phone directly into the router and keep your computer and VoIP phone entirely separate. PoE or lack thereof. The symptoms for this will be the phone isn't receiving any power and you don't know why. If your phone isn't receiving any power or appearing to turn on, it may be that you're connecting it to an ethernet port because at your place of work, you're used to seeing your desk phone with only an ethernet cable plugged directly into it. If you're now trying this at home or some other location, however, you're probably missing a key piece of the puzzle, which is that the phone would have been plugged into a PoE switch or PoE injector. These are devices that can supply power to a device through the ethernet cable. The solution here then is that without a PoE switch, PoE injector, or appropriate power supply for your unit, you'll be unable to use your VoIP phone. 
So be sure to purchase or otherwise source one of these from your hardware distributor of choice. Our sister company, NetXL, would be a great option. Poor connection quality. Symptoms here would be crackly audio, delays in speech, generally poor call quality. Poor call audio quality when using VoIP is often a result of packet loss or jitter. Since it transports audio over the internet, VoIP has to convert voice data from analog sound signals to packets of data. If your internet connection is poor, these packets can be delayed in arriving at their destination, resulting in packets arriving out of order, which is a phenomenon known as jitter. If the connection is particularly poor, then packets of data can be lost entirely on the way to the destination, which is known as packet loss. If you're experiencing the above issues, the problem is likely a weak network connection. Even if your download and upload speeds seem passable, your actual internet connection might not be particularly stable. So, try plugging directly into your router via Ethernet cable, which should help with network stability. If this doesn't work, try ringing your ISP to see if they can solve these connectivity issues for you. Your issue may be trickling down from further upstream, in which case your ISP is usually the party best positioned to deal with this problem. Phone has no network connection. The phone is powered on, but cannot connect or make or receive calls. You cannot find an IP address for the phone on the appropriate page of the phone settings. So you can check if your VoIP phone has been assigned an IP address by navigating the phone's on-screen settings. The specific location in the settings will differ by make a model of VoIP phone, but a quick search online should lead you right to it. If the phone has not been assigned an address, but is otherwise configured correctly, then it's not managing to pull one from the network, meaning something is blocking it. This could be a faulty cable, or some device sitting between your VoIP phone and the router, like a network switch or power line adapter that is interfering in some way with the network connection. First, try plugging the phone directly into the router to see if your VoIP phone can pull an IP address this way. If not, try a new cable, as it may be that your ethernet cable is damaged and therefore your router is not able to properly communicate with the desk phone. Essentially, your phone is not properly communicating with your network. So you'll want to simplify the configuration as much as possible to eliminate any confounding variables and properly diagnose the offending device or cable. With a VoIP phone system, working remotely should be a breeze, but the common issues described here can present a temporary barrier to entry for many. Hopefully this video has helped to break that barrier for you so you can get back to being highly productive even whilst working from home. Thanks again, we'll see you soon.